Well, we're going to continue to explore the Vale of De Morgan in South Wales, but this time we're going back, way back, over 6,000 years to mysterious Neolithic Wales. Well, hello from Tinkins Wood in South Wales. This was the site of a 6,000 year old Neolithic village, but all that remains is this, the impressive burial chamber. If I have time, I'm gonna take a walk a mile to the south to another burial chamber, St. Livens, which lies in the middle of a field, which apparently is meant to be haunted and no crops grow there. So uh, we'll take a walk down there if we have time. And as I stand here on a quiet Monday morning, it's not hard to imagine what it must have been like all those years ago. So, just to give you some idea of how old the place is, it was built 6,000 years ago, that's a thousand years before Stonehenge. The capstone, the large stone at the top, that weighs 40 tonnes and it's one of the largest in Europe and they worked out it would have taken 200 men to lift and position that stone. Originally the whole thing would have been covered with earth forming a big mound and it faces east and there was an opening facing east that's where they could crawl up and put bones inside so it's aligned east to west so this is where the opening would have been The site was excavated in 1914 and in the process they found over 900 human bones from people of different ages, different sexes and they believe the burial chamber was used by the community for a number of years and possibly up until the Bronze Age. The people weren't buried directly in the chamber, they were probably laid out somewhere to decompose and the bones were placed in the burial chamber at a later date. There's a very bizarre legend about Tinkins Wood. If you spend the night here on the evening before May Day, St. John's Day or Midwinter's Day, you're either going to go mad, die or bizarrely become a poet. I don't know which is worse. You could become one of those good poets like Dylan Thomas, John Cooper Clarke or you could become one of those really annoying poets, like the ones they use on the current TV adverts for banks. <laughs> if you've turned into one of those, you probably get lynched in any case. So I do have time, so I'm gonna take a walk about a mile south to St. Livens burial chamber. Let's go. Before I turn into a poet, I don't know it. As I'm walking to the other burial chamber, in the fields, there's lots of stones similar to the type used in the construction of the Tinkins wood chamber. I 
and look at this view. So I've just got to the field where St. Lithan's burial chamber is, just over a mile if you walk. But if you do drive here, there's parking on a verge, but it's in a country lane and it can only fit about two cars. So anyway, it's not really busy, so you should be lucky. So this is St. Lithan's burial chamber. Although it's not as big as Tinkins Wood, it is much taller. You can actually stand up in this one. Again, like Tinkins Wood, it's over 6,000 years old and it's aligned east where the entrance was to west. And originally it would have been covered by a long mound of earth, which would have stretched about 90 feet. There's another strange legend about this burial chamber. Apparently on Midsummer's Eve, the capstone spins around three times and the stones get up and they walk to the river to bathe. Imagine coming back from the pub and seeing that and trying to explain that one. In this stone at the end of the burial chamber, there's a strange, there's a strange little hole. It's strange to think those stones have been standing there for over 6,000 years. So the burial chambers can be found near Dufferin Gardens, which is about seven miles from central Cardiff. Very easy to find, there's a brown uh, tourist sign, but parking is limited. It takes about four to five cars. I'll put uh, into a bit where I parked earlier. Anyway, definitely worth visiting. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little trip back. 6,000 years to the days of early Neolithic Wales. But before I go, just a reminder, check out the playlist below. We've got more videos about things to do in Wales and I'll see you in one of those. So that's a bye for now. Bye.